What is the world's most terrifying fact? The US has lost a confirmed 14 nuclear missiles since 1950, and we still, don't know how many nukes the Soviet Union lost. One example would be when a US bomber collided with a tanker mid-air and the bomb was lost as a consequence. They found one of them after 12 weeks, but I think that there were multiple that remained lost, but I'm not 100% sure. Six of the 14 remained lost and still haven't been found. So my guess is that 2020's big finale is going to be a nuclear explosion. You can die any second of the day for no known reason other than your body has decided it's done with this business of living now. You have Brugada syndrome and you had a fever too long? Heart attack. You didn't know you had a brain aneurysm and you hit your head. Pop. You bleed to death inside your skull. Just really tall and kinda skinny. You need a collapsed lung. The human body is weirdly fragile for no apparent reason sometimes. My old violin teacher died that way. He got five kids then went grocery shopping and on the way back to the car fell over dead in the parking lot. He was 42. There's plenty of world ending, or at least human ending, junk in space and it's possible that something will hit us eventually. Most of what we know about is bright shiny things that reflect light well, but there are a whole lot of others that are really dark. It's like the solar system has a bunch of ping pong balls floating around. Some of them are bright and shiny white or rock colored, but some look spray painted black or very dark brown. We know where a lot of the shiny ones are, but the dark ones are almost invisible on the backdrop of dark space and we only really see them when they move in front of something bright or light hits them at just the right angle. If they're moving quickly, we might have a few hours up to a week to prepare. And that's assuming someone spots it the moment it gets close enough to see with a telescope. Sometimes we don't see them and we only see them after they've already missed Earth. The odds are really low that we'll actually get hit by any given rock, because space is really really big, but there are lots of rocks out there, with plenty of time to float around, so eventually Earth will get hit. A lot of potentially apocalyptic asteroids pass by our planet daily. And yet most of them we only notice when they do something blatantly obvious, like pass between the Earth and Moon. It's horrifying. Today's medicine is mostly based on disturbing human experiments. If the Japanese hadn't done horrible things to pregnant Chinese women we wouldn't know half as much about what causes birth defects. Yeah, that's true, but it's kinda scary that somebody had to do this for the humanity. If the sun exploded, we wouldn't know for 8 minutes. Rest easy, the sun is never going to explode. It doesn't have enough mass to become a supernova. It will instead gradually expand into a red giant, either cooking us with unfathomable heat, or swallowing us entirely. It is an open question which it will do, and also an open question whether we will get pushed into a wider orbit or swallowed up by the sun. But it is pretty much a given that it will cook the surface of the planet. If anything is still alive when that happens, it won't be after it's done. I hope this sets your mind at ease. The total mass of all of the ants on Earth is equal to the total mass of humans. Ants can lift 10 times their weight. They could easily take over if they got it together. They don't have tanks and planes, though. When is the last time I had to lift 700 kilograms? We have forklifts for that. Take that ants. What if they formed together into the shape of a human and fought with hand-to-hand -hand combat? Then could you? This has been on my mind for weeks now. 
Years ago I saw an episode of Monsters Inside Me where this guy was doing something outside and a fly flew into his eye. It only made contact for about a microsecond, but it was enough time for it to lay eggs. After they hatched they started eating his eye from the inside and he was starting to go blind until a doctor figured out what was wrong. Just imagine that, getting your eye eaten from the inside and losing your sight all because a fly very briefly made contact with you. Ever since I learned about this I get really paranoid when there is a fly around my face because of the fact that this could possibly happen to me. I first heard about that like 8 years ago or something, and I still have nightmares. All cockroach can fly. They just forget how so, if you scare them at some point, they gonna figure it out. And you gonna have to fight against flying cockroach. Had a giant one fly on me a few years ago. I was so scared. That the people in power turn the people without power against each other. So that they can remain in power and grow their wealth. And it's working and there is nothing we can do about it? I mean, there is something that can be done about it, but general human complacency and apathy gets in the way. Also, things like robbery, torture, or execution tends to be frowned upon by most, but is a method nonetheless. Every tree that is chopped down has a 50% chance to be home to an animal. The more homeless animal there are, increases the chance of an animal coming to your neighborhood aggressively to take your territory. At the rate at which things are going, it is likely that nature would come back at us for what we have done to it. I'm gonna be honest with you, in my opinion something happening that would wipe most, if not all of humanity, but not the planet out wouldn't even be that bad. We have seen from, for example, Chernobyl that nature is able to recover from nearly anything, but humans are not, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. I'd like it if nature would get the chance to take the planet back. There is a type of shrimp called the peacock mantis shrimp. They're very rare to see in aquariums due to the fact that they can punch through the glass of the aquarium. It's like if Sagatama or Star Platinum was a shrimp. Yeah, to be fair, it's really cool. They kill their prey in a single punch and could probably do the same to a person if they hit the right spot. They punch fast enough that they create air bubbles which make one punch feel like 20. In New York, the number of humans bitten each year by other humans is 10 times higher than the number of annual shark attacks worldwide. And that's only the cases that are reported, so the actual number is probably much higher. Technically since the first organism. Your mobile screen is three times dirtier than your toilet seat. So wash your hands after using smartphones. Now I just stop worrying about touching toilet seats. I clean mine and the case with alcohol to kill off the germs. You can die from having a nightmare. Goosebumps can still appear on a corpse. Charlie Chaplin's body was held hostage. Laugh tracks are the laughs of the dead. The Zodiac Killer was never caught. Serial killers constantly exist. A French orphanage gave out babies as a prize. Fly lashes exist. Victorian era entertainment involved creepy costumes. A queen caused her subjects to mourn with her. Victorian era surgeries were literal torture. JFK's brains and bones were lost. A young girl's body was dug up because her town thought she was a vampire. What's a fly lash? Some psychopath on the internet decided to make false eyelashes using fly legs. That war is responsible for many medical and technological inventions. Without war, many advances in medicine and surgery either would have been invented far later, or would never have been discovered. 
same with a lot of technology. From GPS and the internet to the jet engine, radar, stainless steel, and even duct tape. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more videos.